Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Auto E-Clinic. Due to the popularity and the questions on a video that we recently put up, engine misfire, fuel, fire, or compression, we decided to give you a little recap on what we found. Explain to us what we found, Mike. Well, we know we had very little compressions on cylinder 7 or 8 in this particular Ford. I believe it was a 302. Is that right, Aaron? 302. Yeah, 302. Okay. So we knew at that point we could have had a piston problem, a ring problem, or something in the cylinder head, but we had no idea until we tore it down. We did tear it down, we pulled the cylinder head off and we immediately saw the problem. This is a picture of the head gasket and this is the break in the cylinder head gasket between cylinders 7 and 8. Now what would happen as cylinder 8 came up to try to build compression, it would push that compression force right or gas correct over into cylinder 7 and just vice versa. You're never going to build compression that way. Exactly. Now I've seen it before but you know this was an older truck so it's not that uncommon for it to happen. They're not designed to last forever. It's a gasket. It's a serviceable part for that reason. Do you uh, sell a lot of head gaskets there? Uh, yeah, I do sell a lot of head gaskets. Just like you're saying, you know, this thing is under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Uh, your compression of the fuel, the ignition of the combustion process. The so heat. The heat. So these things really yeah. take a beating. So that's why I really recommend when you're doing a job like this that you go back with an OE gasket. Uh, they're manufactured and specified to work better for your vehicle, right? Correct. I have gone aftermarket. I think we've talked about this before in other videos. I have gone aftermarket on head gaskets and realized that's not the way to go. You really need to go back to the OE manufacturer on a head gasket because you don't want to do it twice. No. It's they're, an expensive repair. They're time consuming. If the customer's paying for it, that's fine for me. But if, you know, if I'm paying for it, I'm not going to be in business very long, correct? That's right. <laughs> So pretty neat here. Like I said, I want to give you an idea. This is not always the case. If you have a no compression issue, it could have been a, a hole in the piston, a burnt hole in the piston. I'm sure you've run yeah. into that before. Seen that, yeah. Could have been a burnt valve. I've seen that. Yeah, burnt valve, uh, bent valve. Bent valve, mm -hmm. faulty valve spring. Yes, sir. A lot of issues there could have been. In this case, it was just the head gasket. Well, we greatly appreciate you for tuning in today. Check us out on Facebook, like our page, look us up on YouTube, subscribe to us. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or would like to ask us if there was a video that we'd do for you, uh, send us an email at info at autoeclinic.com or check us out at autoclinic.com. Go to our uh, submission page. You can put your address, information, and whatever you want, question, uh, whatever you want us to see. We'll try to get back to you in a uh, timely manner. Absolutely. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Norris Auto Clinic, providing us the facility and the tools and the place to do this. Tim's yes. Towing takes care of all our towing needs. SamuelDJackson.com, great websites at affordable prices. He's awesome. Coffee News, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Neat paper. I guess that's our sponsors. Yep. And uh, I don't think it's a good idea to work on cars in a bikini. What do you think, Aaron? Well, just depends on your perspective. If it's me and you, probably not the best, <laughs> but uh, just depends on who it is in the bikini. Uh, you know, I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you.